worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to get to the top of somewhere and have nowhere to go. Because then that voice goes away, you start dying inside, you start getting yeah. comfortable, and next thing you know, you're in, you're in trouble. Question from Anthony. I'm currently 39 years old, making around 200 to 250K per year as a senior business advisor, closer for a nine-figure entrepreneur. My current position affords me the luxury of living in Tijuana, Mexico, outside of the matrix. I know I cannot be a closer forever because I'm trading my time for money. The income I make, I do put into investments like stock and crypto to have some type of leverage. I feel like I'm not living to my potential because I have not surrounded myself with high caliber that will challenge me and help me think bigger. My goals this year is to learn Spanish. He appreciates Latin women. Learn from people who are making 50K plus per month through my boxing and develop a strong frame to maintain one to two wins. What does the roadmap or actions would you recommend I just make or I must make to reach my primary financial goal? Hey, this is Anthony. Hey, Anthony, Justin Waller, how are you, man? I'm very well, good to connect with you. You too, man, you got a second? Yeah, absolutely. I have Thomas and Pablo here with me. They just read your question off first, man. Welcome to the family. The whole time they're reading your question, I'm like, man, he's already done what he needs to do. So welcome to the war room, my friend. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's a piece that's been missing for me. That's what, to get to the next level. Absolutely. You're making good money. You're in Tijuana. You work for a big entrepreneur. You're young, 39. Life doesn't suck for you. I guess we have to unpack whatever it is that, you know, I guess that voice in your head's telling you, you're never done, man. It just means you're a winner because you're obviously doing quite mm, well. And I have that too, man. You know, no matter what I do, no matter what I accomplish, there's always that little thing in the side saying, but you could have done this or you should have done that or you can still mm -hmm. get better here, here, and here. What's going through your head right now? I know you're new to the war room. What, what's the number one thing you want to attack? How do you think that we can help you together? I appreciate you asking me that. I think the, for me, the main hold I need to connect with right to to get to the next level because it's just life is never ending right so I always want to find the next challenge and continue to have progression and be able to maximize my own potential right reach because I don't know what I could at the end of my life what are the things that I could achieve and what I could accomplish during those times so then but I know I cannot do it by my own you understand you have a business you have a team you need to have strong men you need to have a good brotherhood around you to help you call you out on bullshit right make sure that you're on track and also strong in other areas not just business financial uh, financial uh, finances and also relationships so the main thing is just how I just continue to strive to be a better version of myself. I'm like at 250K, it's not satisfying. Once you get there, you're kind of like, hey. it's never enough, and bro. It's, like, it's never enough, is it? Right, yeah. So I think, yeah, yeah I think the minimum game. bars is a million, seven figures, mm -hmm. right? To get there, I have a nice car and all that, but that's not a Lamborghini, it's not a Ferrari, it's like nice art, Audi, right? So I'm still at that level where I need to see how far I can go, but I don't know how to get to that next level, right? And I cannot train my hours for high dollars because right now I'm a senior business advisor, so I'm closing deals and closing sales, and that's how I make my income. Income, but I know that I need to leverage my income so that way it's working for me or invest in some type of business because to get to seven figures it cannot be just trading hours right I can't trade yeah. hours to get to seven figures that's for sure so I know you have expertise and I also watch a lot of your content and you were one of the main reasons why I joined war as well. I'm really glad to hear that I tell the guys all the time is if I don't believe in the product so much I feel like I'm fucking you over if you don't join then what I'm selling is unethical mm -hmm. I couldn't be happier Absolutely. to hear it as you probably already know the average millionaire has about seven income streams it seems like you have seven, eight. Yeah, seven or eight income streams, yeah. right? And you probably have a couple of small ones that you make money here and there. You yeah, know. investments. Yeah. Small portfolios. Yeah, that's it. Like stocks and also crypto. That's it. We both know how stocks and crypto can go. They can go up. They can go down. I just left Tony Robbins Business Platinum. Ray Dalio spoke. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of Chase spoke. Obviously, yes. Tony spoke and a few others, man. Every time one of these guys mm -hmm. get up there and they start talking, they know everything from geopolitics to interest rates to the Fed to leveraging mm -hmm. currency to history of whether it's 1940 mm -hmm. or 1970 that's about to happen. And at the end of mm -hmm. it, after they show how intelligent they are and they flex those mental muscles, they tell us anybody that is really smart and really tuned in doesn't know what's going to fucking happen. Well, I'll tell you what I know, my friend. I'll start a business tomorrow and make fucking money and it'll be better than 5%. That's kind of how I preface my thought process is like, I've been putting money in a money market account since I was 26. I think it was about $500 a month. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And the money sitting in that account today, if I started a business tomorrow, I could out earn the money in that money market account. And when I say out earn, I mean have more money in a bank account than I have in that account. For right sure. Now. And that's the traditional conventional method, right? That's been taught. Right. That's yeah. Been save program. save that's and invest program. your money. Bro, it's a bunch of fing bull. Exactly. You're that, gonna, that's why I want to escape that. You're going to have to start a business. Does that mean that you need to quit your job? Absolutely not. 
I think that no. quitting your job would, would not be a very good idea. I think that you make enough money that you could take some of that money and put it aside and build a team to get a real business going. Somebody asked me recently on a video, how would I go about making my first hundred grand? My response was yeah. making a hundred grand is not all that hard. What you should focus on is creating a system that spits you out a hundred grand every month. God, right, right. And there's a, a big system, difference. Doesn't require your time. Yeah, and that system and that machine is called a business. I don't know if you have anything that you're passionate about, but it seems like you have a pretty high level skill set, and it seems mm -hmm. like you've been exposed to products and things that might sell. What type of business is for you to define? But I would be very, very, very particular about the vehicle I chose, because it's my opinion right. you can take two entrepreneurs at the same level, put them in two different vehicles, and one of them's gonna look like a dumbass, and the other one's gonna look like Steve Jobs. I would pay attention to the game you're playing. If you ever have a question about any particular business you're looking at versus another, I think that starting a business while keeping your job and sustaining your job is probably your best bet at this time. And that's what I've been thinking. Another thing I, I've been thinking as well is that even doesn't matter what business I go in, the most important thing is who am I doing business with? Who am I partnering with and who are the people that I'm, I want to do business with? I think that the who's quite important. I don't know what's your thoughts about that. I, well. think, I think you know where to go. And, yeah. and I, I, have, I do have a lot of cash reserves set aside yeah. and my goal is to continue to work my way through the ranks, give tremendous value in the war, in the war room, right? And meet the leadership, go to the IRLs, uh, do everything I can to demonstrate uh, the value. And then I think that through the networking, the association, that business ideas will come up to the table. Maybe I could put my money in here or something that will come up where I could either come up with my uh, business idea or partner with other people that require some putting our money together and then starting a business with the, with the G's. I absolutely agree. That's the most wonderful. You think that's a good idea? Yeah, I think it's the most wonderful thing about okay. the war room is that you know what kind of individual you're dealing with from the jump. That's right. And, yeah. there's, and there's a certain creed the War Room has, and I always feel safe working with War Room guys because I don't yes. need to know the individual because I know two things. I know that if he joined the War Room, what he's about. And then number two, I know he has to answer the War Room if he f me. 100%. That mobile home yeah. park I bought in Ohio earlier this year, I'd never met that guy. And he's a kid, he's young. Jordan told me, he's mm. like, he's got these other guys trying to buy this property from under me. I said, you send me your bank details, I'm gonna send you $285,000 right now. There's no place on earth I would do that outside of the war room. In regards to you starting a business with someone, mm. I definitely advise. So Jordan, was, he was a geek. Yeah, man, do it. Because you already know what kind of individual you're getting. That individual has a responsibility yes. to take care of people in the group. So you have a double layer of protection against any bullshit because he already knows the creed and the expectations right. of the group. And then of course mm -hmm. you owe him mm -hmm. that same responsibility by being in the world. Would you say that by doing this, going through this direction, that this would lead me to the white path? Absolutely. I think the right path is gonna smack you upside the fucking head, bro. I'm not worried about that. The white path? Yeah, bro, I, I can guarantee you, you're okay. doing the right thing. It's the best okay. decision you've ever made. That's All if right, you right. didn't even start another business. It's the best decision you ever made, bro. Let's be frank, bro, you're killing it. 250K a year in Mexico, bro, that's damn near like a million in America. I don't know the Currency is <laughs> you ain't broke, bro. You're not doing no, bad. I, I, I live like a god. I have a beach home in Mexico. Yeah. I look out to the Pacific Ocean. I got dolphins jumping around. I got me a nice, really nice dragon, 20 years old. Like, See? Oh, like, bro. Sounds I, like a shit I'm, life. In, I'm in Guadalajara right now. We're in Guadalajara with the, we have yeah. a meetup right now with other G's. But then, I, like, it's that Lamborghini, right? It's that these things that I haven't. I want to have a taste of that. I want to know what it's like to have those things and, and experience those things as well while I'm still here, you know? I don't want you to quit pushing, but I think you're on the right track. I think absolutely. you need to spend some time in the halls, make sure you're working on your sigils, make sure you're getting through all that, you know, beginning course stuff that you've been sent. Yeah. I know you've been sent. I know it's a lot. And when the mm -hmm. right opportunity comes up that blends your skills with possibly somebody else's and some capital or whatever you guys need to do to make that happen, I have no doubt yeah. that you'll be successful in that. Yeah, I noticed that when I surround myself with other Gs that are hungry it makes me more hungry i get complacent when i'm lone wolf on my own kind of like try to process thoughts Bro, by, on my own it I'm doesn't help you. it doesn't work i have to process my thoughts with other g's i have to surround myself with these g's that will challenge me and then i start thinking bigger again i start getting hungrier again right like i start getting excited and everything else but and it's yeah, natural it's like, you yeah. have to manage your atmosphere man there's nothing will make you lazier than a warm comfortable house of plenty of you go home, yeah, it smells yeah. good, she smells good, dinner, yeah. you're comfortable, it's great. You're not wondering where your next meal is coming from, where your next hot shower is coming from, or where the next yeah. time you're gonna have sex is coming from. That shit will make you complacent, my friend. And then you realize, man, what the hell? What? Yeah. I wasted all that time. Or then you get fat and she leaves your dumb ass. You didn't take care of your business. You have to stay in abundance on every every level degree. And, and the second you lose that hunger inside of you, you're gonna start dying. And by the time you look up, sure, it's gonna sure. be too late. You're gonna be a different man. So you have to manage your, yeah. you have to manage your atmosphere. And the war room is a great place to manage that atmosphere. 
atmosphere. It'll save your marriage far, far, far more than you'd ever put you in a position to lose it. You'll have no choice. I, I know in the world there's an area called the White Path, W-H-I-T-E, White Path. What is the path of that? Is that focusing on... The White Path... I just got accepted into the like, Dymo room. That's yeah. the, or the orange dot. So I got accepted into that. Like, how do I lead myself? How do I get to the White Path? The White Path is really just the path in general. It's the life in general. You just stay on your sigil. Oh. Stay in the halls. If you were to message Andrew and Andrew was available, you know, he would tell you, hey man, just follow the yeah. white path. That's all. Okay. Look, I picture it as like a mountain I need to climb. And it gets me excited that I have to climb this mountain. So then, because I'm at the point where my life were like, what mountain mountains. can I climb? No, there's mountains, but I don't know how to climb it. Who can support me and guide me in the, in the process? But then once I have ident identified that, I'm like, oh wow, so there's this challenge. Now, now I can try to scale this right here. Success is a two-way street. It's climbing. Most of your happiness is going to be when you're climbing a mountain and you feel like you're growing and you're getting better and you're getting higher. The other part of that is yes. to make sure that you're looking up for other mountains to climb because the worst thing that can happen to you is that you get to the top of a mountain with nowhere to go because then you can only self-sabotage yourself back down so you can climb it. The war room will relinquish you from having to worry about that. If you pay attention and you stay on path, you'll have plenty, yes. plenty, plenty, plenty of people to put in your consciousness things that you could be doing to make that experience better and give you a bigger mountain to climb mm. so you can stay excited inside because the worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to get to the top of somewhere and have nowhere to go because then that voice goes away you start dying inside you start getting yeah. comfortable and next thing you know you're in you're in trouble okay good you're I'm, on track bro I, i'm on the right track welcome yes. to the family man if you need anything message me on telegram uh, outside absolutely. of that man follow the path thank you justin all right man it's well, an absolute honor right you caught me off guard but i was a little bit nervous but hey man it's an honor right your content you put out there your genuineness your authentic everything you say is from the heart so if everything you say comes from the heart you're literally unstopped there's nothing in life that could get in your way and i admire that i want to strive to, to become so i really appreciate you taking the time to give me a call today as well yeah i was lucky to do it man it means the world to me bro just keep on what you're doing get in the halls oh, okay we do expect winners when you find that guy Got in the war room you want to do business with make sure y'all get together and y'all hit it strong we expect to see y'all winning